This is an Audi R8 V10. It is in its stock form with a BMC air filter. It makes around 610 bhp and it has a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 shared with the Lamborghini Huracan. As super as supercars get. The 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 is paired with a rapid shifting dual clutch transmission which comes second to only Porsche's PDK gearbox. Now, couple that with Audi's legendary Quattro all-wheel drive system, you have a car that can accelerate from 0 to 100 in 2.9 seconds and can blast through the quarter mile in the low 11s or high 10s. Pretty rapid for a car that has no turbos and sounds like an orchestra on four wheels. The 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 is probably one of the finest motors around and redlines at an amazing 8500 RPMs. The R8 V10 Plus weighs in at around 1650 kgs, not the lightest supercar around but definitely one that sounds like a million bucks and well, Tony Stark drove it, that's all you need to remember. But can the balls to the wall supercar made by Audi beat its little Frankenstein cousin? This is a stage 3 Audi TT. It has 550 bhp and 672 Newton meters of torque. And it's in a smaller 4 wheel drive 1400 kg body. The results are pretty crazy as you're about to see. This Audi TT has been fully built by the boys at Harmonix Tuning and is in contention to be one of the fastest quarter mile monsters in India. It might look stock from the outside, but inside the changes are quite substantial. We won't explain the whole build in this video, so click on the info icon on the top right if you want to see all about the Stage 3 Audi TT. Anyways, just like the R8, Harmonix Tuning is expecting the TT to be running in the high 10s or low 11s realistically, but there are a couple of things to keep in mind before we get the race started. The launch control sequence wasn't exactly dialed into the TT properly as it was still in development. So, as you will see in the race, the TT doesn't launch hard at all. Second, of course, the altitude makes the cars roughly 0.5 seconds slower. And thirdly, the half mile timings won't come in our draggy readings as Taneja Aerospace slopes down towards the end. So the draggy isn't accurate. Alright, so can the 550 bhp Audi TT take down the poster dream supercar that is the Audi R8? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Now that's what we call a race. That was so close and what a performance put up by both cars. Even though the R8 won, we can all agree that that is one fast Audi TT. More importantly, even though the R8 won this particular bout, it was fascinating and somewhat freakish to see a 2-litre turbo 4-cylinder reeling in a 5.2-litre naturally aspirated V10 supercar like that. As we said, the TT didn't launch properly at all. Even the R8 kind of bogged down and this was mainly due to the slippery surface but the R8 compared to the TT got off really well. But soon enough, once the TT started to get into its boost range, it was a completely different story. A lighter car with 550 bhp and more torque, the power to weight ratio was making a difference. And well, in the finish line footage you can see the R8 just barely making it across the line in front of the TT but that is due to the TT driver lifting off just milliseconds before the finish line or else maybe the TT could have drawn it over the half mile. But what is more fascinating is that before we ran the drag race the TT was able to do a blistering 11 and a half second quarter mile whilst the best time the R8 could accomplish that day was an 11.7 seconds. Absolutely bonkers.
When it comes to acceleration, well, the R8 does 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in around 3 seconds. And today, in these conditions, it managed a 4.05 seconds 0 to 100. Considering the damp conditions and the altitude, not bad at all. Whereas the TT, with the lack of a proper functioning launch control, damp conditions and altitude, managed a very similar 3.9 seconds 0 to 100. We cannot imagine what a rocket this TT must be once it's fully dialed in. More astonishing are the rolling 100 to 200 km figures. And this is where the TT totally thrives. The R8 manages a decent 8.2700 to 200, whereas the TT takes it back to school with a ridiculous 7.5900 to 200 km per hour. And this is why the TT was reeling in the R8 once it started getting in its boost range. So in terms of this particular drag race, the R8 took the W, but overall, that TT might look cute, but will eat your supercar for breakfast. Thank you so much for watching the video. A big shout out to Harmonix Tuning for giving us this opportunity for filming this series. As we mentioned, this stage 3 TT has been completely built by these guys and as you saw, it can go toe to toe with a V10 Audi R8. So follow them on Instagram to get the latest updates on their projects. This has been Bhavneet. I'll see you in the next one.